everybody this is Maria and I am just going to show you how I do my digital stamps um, I'm not sure how everybody does them but I'm going to show you how I do them um, I use the word document um, I just open up my words and I have a blank sheet first I get my sheet ready so what I do is I'm sorry guys trying to get y'all to see I will move the margins so I can use as much paper I can so here I go just move them over oops just cancel that just move them over and then move them on the side because you want to use as much as you can you don't want to waste any paper go and scroll down and move the bottom just like just leave like maybe half an inch even less than that just so you have some a little bit of margin so you don't go over because if you it looks like on the paper that the 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 stamp is um actually actually sits on there right sometimes when you print it out it won't print it all off it, some of it went off the edge so just give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of lead back um, margins so you'll have a perfect digital um, stamp that stamps out now I'm going to open my stamps here are my stamps I have them all in their own category on my desktop so I can find them easy let's see I am just going to pick a digital stamp and what I do is just click on it so it's highlighted. And can you see guys? Oops, sorry. Highlighted. And then I just drag it over to my Word document and let go. And there you go. There's my stamp. Now you can see the stamp is kind of big it almost took the whole page so what I do is click on my stamp engine image and you see how there's a box around it I go down here to the corner and click on it again now it gives me the little dots I can make it smaller so I always start from the corner because that way you're not spreading it out being too fat or too thin it actually moves all of it so what I'll do is click on the corner and just move up and usually I make it about four inches uh, four and a half just depends how big I want it and there you go there's one stamp image if I want another stamp image I will copy it of the, if I want the same one I just click over Hmm. kind of hit the space bar twice so it gives you a little room if you want to cut them and then I just I go and paste it there you go I have another one if I want another image let's say I go with um, one of these image now my image is kind of big and it did move one of my images um, you can see it's huge so I am going to click on it again and click it until my little circles are on the square and I'm going to move it again to make it smaller and I'm going to make it again smaller and actually she got in the middle I'm not sure how she got in the middle but usually she's supposed to be on this side but hey She's on there. And there she is. So I have three stamp images that I want to print out. I hit return. Hit return one more time. And I click on my images again. And I will pick another one. Um, let's see which one we can do. Let's do this one. 
and I move her. And remember, hold on to your, when you click on it, keep it down, you're on your mouse, and drag her. And when you bring the stamp to the page, then let go. And she's on there. Or any digital. So, she's big. Once again, click on her. And I find my corner. I make her smaller. And there she is on the same page with them. If I want to make another one of her, I just copy. Click on hit the side, hit the space bar twice, and then I paste her. Yes, she's on the other page. Oops, where did she go? Oh, there she is. The reason that these two jump to the second page is because they're too big to fit both on here. So what I do is make her a little bit smaller because I like to use more than one page. And then I have one little medium one. Let's see if I can make her any bit bigger without moving it. Mm, let's see. Let's make her a little bit smaller. And there we go. Oops. And you can see I have four, no, five images on one sheet. And that's how I do it. So basically what you do is get your digital stamp, click on it, drag it to your Word page, and let go. And then your image will appear. And then you, what you'll do is click on it, make it smaller, and if you want to make a copy of it, just copy it and then paste it right next to it. And just keep on doing that until you want all your in images that you want to use. Now, I am going to print this out for you. And I use um, cardstock. This cardstock I get from usually at Walmart, but if they're sold out, I'll go to Staples to get it. And um, it's not that expensive. It's about ten dollars for 150 sheets or so. And this is the cardstock I use. And it's a it's a hundred and fifty so it's pretty thick so let me print this out let me go put this in the printer and I'm going to print this out so I just go to my print and since all my images are already on there I really don't have to adjust it um, some people they can't see all of it so you would have to make it a little bit more smaller but other than that it's a good size so I am going to print and my printer is not on hold on there it goes Here is my images. You see? These are my images. They're all in the same cardstock. And there they are. Now I'm going to just let you know that if you use an inkjet, inkjet <laughs> um, printer, it's not a very good printer to use for Copics because the ink from the printer um, kind of smears into your pen. Um, what you want to do is try not to get too close to the edge of the the black lines 
what I do is kind of get cl as close as I can without touching it because when I start blending in other colors it starts to expand and usually it'll hit the lines if not just put a little more color and eventually you'll hit the line if you have a laser jet computer those are the perfect ones because the ink's already dried on it and it does not smear with your markers and so usually I'll print these out at work Shh, don't tell them because I'm not supposed to do that but I do it anyway <laughs> so there you go guys I hope you like my video this is my first video that I've done to show people what to do or how to do it and I hope it helps some people um, other people do it in other ways I'm not sure how they do it but like I said this is the way I do it and if it helps you good I'm glad I'm glad to help you out okay guys well I'm gonna end it and if you have any questions or anything you want to ask let me know and thanks for coming by bye